Hey, Mom! Trying to get my first shutout today. <laughs> All right, today we're going to talk about when to overlap and when to use RVH. This is a common question we get so many times throughout a week. We want to address it in this video. All right, so the overlap. This is something getting used more and more off the rush because I feel like as a coach, and I know there's a lot of other coaches out there, there's a lot of bad goals because of the overuse of RVH. RVH is to seal the short side, especially on plays very close to the net and jams. It is not used for coming off the rush unless they get very, very deep on a very steep angle. So especially for young kids, anybody in minor hockey, we want to be using the overlap. If they're coming down the perimeter and I'm starting to move with it, I'm starting to move with it, and now my, my foot is actually outside the post, it's overlapping the post. And as that player gets deeper, deeper, deeper down the wall, we can actually start to transition our hips just a little bit to the face-off dot because now I can move anything back door a lot easier. We don't want to end up if the player is coming down the wall and they end up at the goal line and us squared up to the goal line because now we're screwed to anything to the back half of the ice, right? So that's one thing that's really important. As I work into that overlap, into that overlap, I want to start to flatten out a little bit. And you're still going to have the exact same seal when you drop, but now you're wrapping the post with your back leg, right? Your eyes are on the puck, and now if I have to go this way, it's very, very, very easy, right? If I went down, completely squared up to here, well, anything even around here to get back here or anything over here is such a far movement now, right? So the overlap is something that is so good for so many reasons. It provides a way better seal, in my opinion, right? Anything off the rush, instead of going into reverse. So if I'm going into reverse, right? Here I am in reverse. I need to be in an active position still to be able to track pucks and everything like that. But a lot of goals are getting going in over guys' heads, right? Guys, girls' heads. So that's something that's very important. I'd rather our goaltenders use RVH from below the goal line, attacking the net. So that player is that. So here I am, the player is now becoming a scoring threat below the goal line. Now I'm going to go into RVH. That's the only time. Unless, like I said, they get really deep on this angle and I transition into reverse. So another thing that's very, very important about using the overlap. If they're skating all the way along the perimeter and they're holding the puck, holding the puck, holding the puck, and now they get to the goal line and they keep going below the goal line, I can actually transition my foot inside the post. And now if that player was now to attack the net, now I'd be going down in reverse. So that's something to be very mindful of. You obviously have to have your eyes to read the play. If the shooter's driving full speed, looking like they can shoot, and he still looks like he can shoot, well then you might just wrap it, right? If, they're, if you can tell they're not gonna shoot it, well then I can get my foot easily inside my post instantly. Using the overlap will help you so much with sealing the short side and eliminate those bad goals that reverse VH is allowing. So as Gary skates the puck, I'm moving with him, small adjustments, now I'm in my overlap, I'm starting to flatten out, oh he's in, now I transition my foot. Right now if Gary comes, attacks the post, now I'm gonna go down in my reverse. Okay, so that's what it should look like with the transition to inside the post from your overlap. All right, here we go. So he's skating down, he's moving, I'm in my overlap, I'm in my overlap. Boom, I can stay over top. I have a great seal, easy for me to get inside. So this is what it would look like if we're using our post, now I'm on my post and I go into reverse. I have a way better chance at spitting out a bad rebound. I don't have a good seal and now I'm already down. I wanna try to hold my feet. I can be here, whether that's tracking this puck or if I need to get to the middle on my feet, I'd way rather do that. If I'm in overlap, Again, I have a way better short side seal. If a pass goes here, it's easy for me to get to the middle of the ice on my feet. Pass back door, turn, track, push. It's very, very easy to get in and out of it. With, again, sealing the short side much better than reverse from a rush play. If you like this video, check out our other YouTube videos. We're doing this for you goalies, goalie parents, and coaches. We're trying to grow the game and the goaltender position to the best we can. 
you haven't checked out our goaltender's playbook already, there's over 150 of on ice video breakdowns of me breaking down goaltenders' bodies, positioning, and everything you can possibly think of. Link down below to check it out.